I'm Felix Wu, professor of electric engineering at the University of Hong Kong. Here, my group and I are trying to create a smart electric grid of the future. Because the problem of uh, climate change, we have to introduce renewable energy resources uh, to replace the uh, traditional fossil fuel uh, generators. And we see the grid of the future will be very different from uh, what we have today. In the future, you have thousands of uh, windmills, uh, solar generators, and you have uh, uh, consumers' uh, participation, uh, smart appliances uh, in smart homes, and all these devices will have embedded sensors. And the data collected will be processed to become information. And then we have uh, such a complex system, we need to employ the latest advancement in information and communication technology to manage and control uh, this system. And this is uh, what people call smart grid. And for all of that, it's a future system. We don't have a system to do the experiment on. So we need to build a simulation laboratory to simulate the operation of the uh, future grid. The uniqueness of our simulation lab is that it's a combination of uh, uh, computer simulation with uh, physical simulation. So part of the system, we use computer in silicon simulation. Part of the system, we use real devices. In this simulation laboratory, we can simulate different wind turbines, different wind conditions, different solar conditions, uh, different uh, solar panels. We can test, we can study the impact on the grid. Right now, we have only very limited energy storage capability on the grid. We want to manage the system so that when the wind is blowing more, we use more. When the wind is blowing less, uh, we try to use less. And if we have uh, storage, uh, you know, we will use as much uh, storage uh, for that management. So the system will become much more complex than what we have today. For a grid, we have to have a power balance at real time. We have to be prepared for the uh, disturbances uh, like lightning and the uncertain output from renewable energy because it depends on whether, whether the sun is shining, whether the wind is blowing. So we have to be prepared for that. Uh, in our laboratory, this system is the first systematic uh, self-healing system in the world. Uh, this is a, a small generator. Our objective is to restore all of the consumers as quickly as possible after outage. We hope to save energy by optimizing uh, energy consumption and optimize electricity generation, and hence we can reduce carbon emission. Right now, people are saying, well, you know, you cannot accommodate uh, more than um, 20 or 30 percent of renewable generation in the grid. Our goal is uh, we want to accommodate uh, more than 50 percent uh, uh, renewable energy in the, in the grid. So, so that's the, the uh, savings uh, in greenhouse gases. The result of the assimilation is that we believe we can operate the system less conservatively than the uh, traditional one. In other words, that will make uh, our uh, use of electricity more efficient. Uh, yes, uh, I think in that sense, uh, it will change the way we live.